Hello, everybody. So today we're going to be starting with percents and decimals. Okay, so it says write the following decimals as percents and percents as decimals. Okay, uh, this is really easy. Really, It's 4%, which is 4 over 100, which is 0 0.04. Okay, and you don't even need to do that. It's just 4%, and then you take this, and you go 1, 2, because you divide by 100, so you move to the left by 2. Uh, if you're trying to find percent from decimal, okay, so you're, if you're going from decimals to percent, then you do the exact opposite. You multiply by 100, and so you get 36%. Simple, right? Okay, let's do um, two more. Let's do two more, and then we'll go on. Uh, number four. Okay, this same thing as number two. It's just you multiply by 100, and you get 53%. And number six, 505, you divide by 100 or you go to the left two times to get, uh, um, to get 5.05. Okay, on to the next section. And the next section is measuring units. Convert the following measuring units. All right, so to do this, you just need to know uh, how to convert meters to centimeters. Uh, every 100 centimeters is one meter. Okay, so every meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So if you want to go from meters to centimeters, you have to go from one to 100. And the only way to do that is to multiply by 100. Okay, and if you want to do that, you have to multiply 1.9 by 100 to get 190 centimeters, okay? And if you want to go the other way, 100 to 1, you divide by 100, and you get 1.9 meters. Okay. Let's see. Number 4 down here. Millimeters to centimeters. This is at a ratio of 1 to 10. Okay, no. The ratio of 10 to 1. Let me see. Um, my bad. 10 millimeters and one centimeter that's what it is okay if you want to go from 10 to 1 you need to divide by 10 which is you go to the left by 1 and you get 3.5 centimeters okay so 35 millimeters is equal to 3.5 centimeters all right uh let's see number eight 39 centimeters to x meters all right, same thing. You have 100 centimeters and you have one meter. To get from 100 to one, you need to divide by 100. So you divide 39 by 100 and you get 0.39 meters. 39 centimeters is equal to 0.39 meters. All right, on to the next section. And the next section is circles. Calculate the area. Of the circle okay so to calculate the area of the circle it's pi see, pi r squared okay um it tells us here in number one that r is equal to 6.6 .6, which means that you're doing pi times 6.6 .6 squared okay and then you just um you just square 6.6. .6. Um, if you have a calculator on you, that should work. And you get pi times 43.56. Okay. Uh, and then pi is 3.14. Or you can just multiply by pi on the calculator to get you 136.78. Okay, so the answer is 136.78 millimeters squared. Sorry, that should have gone up here, but I'm not going to change it because I'm lazy. Uh, let's just move on. Okay, uh, let's do number three, where it gives you the diameter. Okay, and because it gives you the diameter and the formula, is pi r squared 
is the radius and the diameter the same? No. The diameter is equal to 2 r. All right? Which means the radius is equal to the diameter over 2, which means you take this 2 and you divide by 2, and you have r is equal to 1 yard. So it's pi times 1 squared, which is just pi times 1, which is just pi. Okay? So it's pi yards or 3.14 yards. Okay, on to the next section, which is coordinate grids. All right, so it says to draw a parallelogram with vertices negative 8, 0, 6, 8, 6, 0, and negative 8, 8. Then move it one unit right and two units down. Where are the new coordinates? Okay, so first things first, you want to do this top portion. Vertices negative 8, 0, 6, 8, 6, 0, and negative 8, negative 8. Uh, you just want to dot the, uh, plot those out real quick. So 1, 2, 3. Negative 8, and then here. I'll just finish the rest. Okay, all right. And so we're done, and you just need to connect these points to get our, to get our parallel again. Okay, that's a very messy parallelogram, but it's going to have to work. All right, it says to move it one unit right and two units down. What are the new coordinates? And so what you need to do is just... You need to, one unit right is this, and two units down is here, okay? So uh, you do that for every single, you do that for every single point. I suppose every single vertice is what you want to do. Um, let's see. And then move this one unit over, two units down, one unit over, two units down, one unit over, two units down. And your new one should look something like, so if you can see, you can see that they're exactly identical to each other. Well, you can't see because it's super messy. But uh, just take my word for it. These two parallelograms are exactly identical to each other. They're just in different areas. And you can see that uh, the new areas, this one over here, instead of negative 8, negative 8, it's actually negative 7 and negative 10. Okay? plus one minus two because you're moving it to the unit right that's plus and down is minus okay so it's minus two and plus one uh and then you just need to do that to everything else six plus one is seven which is over here and eight minus two is six which is right here so it's seven six mm -hmm. uh Negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7, and 0 minus 2 is negative 2, which is right here. Negative 7, negative 2. And then finally, 6, 0, 6 plus 1 is 7, and 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Okay, um, that's over here. All right, so uh, this one. It's not wrong. I just misdrew it. You just need to know that uh, the point is supposed to be 7, negative 2. Okay. Okay, so these are our new points. 7, 6, negative 7, negative 2. 7, negative 2, and negative 7, negative 10. All right, that's it for today. Have a nice day.